bikepacking tech. There's a lot of it here at NABS. So I think it's a bit of a crime if we don't check it out, right? Now we've been doing our best detective work here at NABS. And on the Mavic stand here, we found a wheel set which have yet to be released. There isn't any information here, and despite our best efforts, we couldn't find out anything apart from they appear to be a gravel-specific carbon fibre wheel set. So we'll have to wait and see a bit more about those coming soon, and I, for one, am pretty excited. Bike racks are certainly making a resurgence, especially if you're going bikepacking in more remote areas or if you want to carry loads of luggage. We're here with Californian bike builder turned rack specialist, Parson Stowe, checking out the range that he makes here. Now this one really caught my eye. It gives you loads of space for carrying extra water, so perfect if you're crossing a desert or going into mountains where it's scarce. And it even has internally rooted dynamo cables. How swish is that? Now we're here on the stand with Pro, who've got some really exciting new products to show us from their Discover range, really aimed at off-road and bikepacking. We've got four new bags in the range, including the seat post bag, the frame bag, the handlebar bag, and for you triathletes out there, a top tube bag. Let's start with the seat post bag. It's got a 15 litre capacity and has been specifically designed to minimise the amount of sway that you get whilst riding. One of the ways that they do that is through these little foam blocks that goes just behind the seat post and really allows you to strap down tightly with the double Velcro system on there. Moving forward to the cockpit of the bike, the handlebar bag actually comes in two parts. So there's a strapping system which permanently stays attached to the bike and then a sort of dry bag system. So that's really neat in that when you stop at your destination, you want to unpack or repack those bags, it's super simple. You just undo two clips and you're away. Another really cool thing about this handlebar bag is that you've got these foam blocks once again. And this isn't just to protect your bars, but it actually allows your hands to get between the bars and the bags, offering you loads more hand positions, which is something I've definitely struggled with in the past. Now let's take a look at the last two bags in this range. They both share a really cool feature, which is an external port at the front. So whether you're running an external battery and you want some cables to go through, or if you've got a water supply in there with a hose, it's really easy to integrate it. And another thing that I haven't actually mentioned yet is that Pro has also released two new bars in the Discover range. Now they're both flared, either 12 degrees or 30 degrees, and these are most definitely the 30 degrees. I mean, check out the flare on that. There are loads of different bikes here at NABS with builds for very specific niches, but this one certainly isn't. This is the All Road from Allied, which takes road bike geometry and transforms it into the gravel bike market. So there's a single carbon fibre mould which can be used both for road and gravel. This model has a 35mm tyre clearance, so it's really versatile both for gravel and road applications. And a really cool detail on the down tube here is this faceplate which allows you to use a single carbon fibre design, both for mechanical and electronic so in this case it's electronic setup that one goes on there but if you were to choose mechanical it's a different space plate with two little holes there for your cable routing the last really cool thing about Allied is that they do everything in-house from their base in Little Rock, Arkansas. Right the way through from the carbon fibre tooling to the paint job, which, as I'm sure you'll agree on this one, is absolutely stunning. And one really neat little detail, just to finish off, is this Made Here logo, with the full stop pinpointing exactly where this bike was designed and made. One by setups are increasing in popularity for gravel, cross and bikepacking setups, but not all major group sets are able to accommodate this. That's where brands like Wolftooth Components come in really handy because they make chain rings both in standard and oval configurations for loads of different brands. And then of course, once you've chosen that, you can choose your accessories to match because they've got some really cool analyzed stuff here. So follow me over here. You can choose from your axles to your headsets, chain ring bolts, even seat post collars, all to match. And from all of these, I definitely know which one I'd choose. If bikepacking is your bag, you're going to want to think about how you're going to carry your kit whether you're on the road, whether that's on your bike or on yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Custom bum bags, and they've got them right here. Master Stitcher Andrea is even on site here today showing us how it's done. Hmm, too brown, too dark. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Now I can't guarantee that this is world first, but I've certainly never seen a gravel tandem before. This has come fresh out of Santa Cruz, California from the guys at Rock Lobster, and it looks amazingly fun. It's an aluminium welded frame with a custom steel fork. It's got a slightly longer wheelbase than a conventional road tandem, and of course lower gearing. It's got a really interesting suspension system on the back for the stoker. 
Now I wonder which other GCN presenter I could get to come for a ride on this with me. If you've ever lost a rear derailleur on a ride or a race, or if your used to conditions anything like English winter ones, then you might want to think about something different from a conventional chain and rear derailleur setup. That's where this, the Gates Carbon Drive, really comes into its own. It's composed of these nylon teeth on a polyurethane backing with the carbon fibre strands running through the back there. If you're a Harley Davidson type, then you'll already be familiar with it. As you can't run a rear derailleur with this one, you've got two different options. You can either run something like a pinion gearbox on the bottom bracket, or you can use a hub-based one like this from Roloff. They're said to last two to three times longer than a normal chain, and after your ride, rather than having to completely degrease and then re-lube it, you'll only have to wash it down, which of course saves a lot of elbow grease as well, which gives a massive thumbs up from me. Now, as a true gravel geek, I hope you've enjoyed this tech just as much as I have. Remember to give us a big thumbs up, check out the GCN shop for cool tees like this, and for more hottest tech here at NABS, click just down here. It's got a 15 litre capacity and it's been specific. <laughs> a monocle. How do you do it? I got it on the wrong side. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> I don't bend in that way. But they seem to be a car. <laughs> hub base, hub base. <laughs>